The Colorado River carves a majestic path. It winds through arid landscapes, a vital artery. This river supports cities and farms alike. Millions depend upon its steady flow. Suddenly, an unseen threat has emerged, a discovery that sent shivers of concern. The river's ancient tranquility faces a new challenge. This challenge arrived quietly, almost invisibly. The news was described as devastating. The discovery of zebra mussel larvae was a shock. It signaled the start of a difficult chapter. A battle for the river's health had begun. Routine water sampling yielded troubling results. Scientists found microscopic zebra mussel villagers. Though tiny, their presence spelled enormous trouble. The scientific community recognized the grave danger. This was a call to urgent action. The river's ecological balance was at stake. The future of this iconic waterway felt uncertain. The presence of these larvae, however small, represented a monumental threat. The fight to protect the Colorado had intensified. The river, a symbol of the American West, was vulnerable. We now faced a formidable silent adversary. What exactly are these feared zebra mussels? They are small freshwater mollusks. Their shells often bear dark and light stripes. This pattern gives them their common name. They are not native to North America. Their original home is far away. They hail from the Caspian and Black Seas region. Zebra mussels are infamous for their invasive nature. They are incredibly effective colonizers. They often hitchhike on watercraft. Boats, trailers, and fishing gear can carry them. They attach firmly to almost any hard surface. This includes pipes, docks, and submerged equipment. Their bisel threads create strong anchor points. This allows them to cling tightly. Their reproductive capacity is truly astonishing. A single female zebra mussel can release up to 1 million eggs in a single spawning season. This incredible fertility is a key to their success. They can quickly overwhelm new aquatic environments. These mussels are voracious filter feeders. They constantly draw water through their systems, straining out tiny organisms, especially plankton. By consuming so much plankton, zebra mussels disrupt the aquatic food web. The story of this particular alert began quietly. It was early July in the year 2023. Scientists were conducting routine water testing. A plankton sample was collected. It came from the government Highline Canal near Clifton. Analysis of this sample revealed something unwelcome. On July 9, 2023, it was confirmed. Zebra mussel DNA was present in the water. The discovery prompted immediate further investigation. More water samples were quickly gathered. These came from the Colorado River itself, specifically upstream of the Grand Valley Water Users Canal diversion. Just days later on July 11, 2023, the results came. These samples also tested positive for zebra mussel DNA. The initial fear was now a confirmed concern. The invader was in the river system. Colorado Parks and Wildlife did not hesitate. The agency swiftly activated its Invasive Species Rapid Response Plan. This plan outlines procedures for such events. The locations where DNA was found were designated suspect. This official status triggered heightened monitoring. The threat was now formally acknowledged. The race against time had begun. Zebra mussels are often called ecosystem engineers. However, their engineering brings devastation to native life. They are incredibly efficient filter feeders as mentioned. This efficiency means they outcompete native species. Native mussels, clams, and small fish struggle. Their primary food source, plankton, is depleted. This creates a ripple effect through the food web. The natural balance is severely disrupted. Native populations can decline sharply. Zebra mussels can significantly increase water clarity. While clear water might sound good, it is not always. Increased light penetration can reach deeper. This can stimulate the growth of aquatic plants. It can also lead to harmful algal blooms. Some of these algae produce toxins. The very chemistry of the water is altered. This affects all organisms living within it. Native fish populations face a particularly grave threat. Many rely on plankton in their juvenile stages. Zebra mussels can also colonize spawning habitats. They cover rocky areas where fish lay eggs. The entire aquatic community structure can unravel. Biodiversity is lost. Zebra mussels also bring severe economic consequences. Their habit of attaching to hard surfaces is costly. They form dense colonies inside water intake pipes. This affects municipal water supplies. It also impacts irrigation systems vital for agriculture. Drinking water treatment facilities face increased operational costs. The mussels must be physically removed. Chemical treatments are also sometimes used. 
Hydroelectric power plants are particularly vulnerable. These facilities depend on massive volumes of river water. Zebra mussels can clog their intake structures. They can foul cooling water systems. This reduces the plant's generating efficiency. It can even lead to shutdowns for cleaning. These maintenance activities are expensive and labor-intensive. Ultimately, these increased costs can be passed on. Consumers may see higher utility bills. Agriculture in the arid west relies heavily on irrigation. Water from the Colorado River sustains vast farmlands. If irrigation canals become infested with zebra mussels, flow is restricted. Pumps and sprinklers can become clogged. Delivering water to crops becomes more difficult and costly. This can impact farm productivity and profitability. The livelihoods of farmers are directly threatened. The best defense against zebra mussels is prevention. Once established, eradication is extremely difficult and expensive. Public awareness is critical. Everyone has a role. We must be vigilant guardians. Clean, drain, dry is paramount. Inspect and clean boats thoroughly. Drain all water, allow boats to dry completely. These steps are essential. The detection of zebra mussel villagers in 2023 was a stark warning. It was a serious wake-up call for the Colorado River Basin. While the 2024 follow-up sampling found no additional mussels, the threat remains. Larvae could still be present in low, undetectable numbers, or new introductions could occur at any time. Complacency now would be a grave mistake. Our vigilance must remain at its peak. Colorado Parks and Wildlife remains on high alert. The agency is committed to continued increased testing. This surveillance will focus on the Colorado River. The government highline canal will also be a priority this heightened scrutiny will continue for the next five years as a proactive measure highline lake was drained in november 2024 this aimed to eradicate any potential mussels it is set to reopen in spring 2025 with strict boat inspection protocols this fight is not solely cpw's responsibility it is a battle that belongs to every citizen it belongs to everyone who values the colorado river we all depend on its precious water, we cherish its unique ecosystems, we marvel at its recreational opportunities, its future health and vitality are intertwined with our actions, we must all embrace our role as stewards. Gap 3S. The Colorado River, a lifeline of the American West, has carved its place in history for centuries. From ancient Native American civilizations who revered its waters, to the pioneering explorers who braved its rapids, the river has been a source of life, inspiration, and discovery. Gap 2S. The river's journey spans over 1,450 miles, weaving through seven states and two countries. It has sculpted iconic landscapes like the Grand Canyon, a testament to its immense power and beauty. This majestic river has nurtured diverse ecosystems, providing a sanctuary for countless species of flora and fauna. Gap 2S. Historically, the Colorado River was a crucial resource for indigenous tribes such as the Navajo, Hopi, and Havasupai. They relied on its waters for agriculture, sustenance, and cultural practices. The river's significance is etched in their traditions and stories, passed down through generations. Gap 2S. The 20th century brought monumental changes to the river. The construction of massive dams like Hoover and Glen Canyon transformed its flow, taming its wild nature but also sparking debates about environmental impacts. These engineering marvels provided water and hydroelectric power to millions, fueling the growth of cities and agriculture in the arid west. Gap 2S. Today, the Colorado River continues to be a vital artery for over 40 million people. It supports agriculture, supplies drinking water, and sustains recreational activities that draw millions of visitors each year. Yet, its future is precarious, threatened by overuse, climate change and invasive species like the zebra mussel. Gap 2S. As we reflect on the historical impact of the Colorado River, we must recognize our responsibility to protect and preserve it. The lessons of the past guide us towards a sustainable future, where the river can continue to thrive and inspire for generations to come. Our collective efforts today will shape the legacy we leave for tomorrow. Gap 3S. Let the story of the Colorado River remind us of the power and fragility of nature, and our role as custodians of this precious resource. Together, we can ensure that its waters flow freely and vibrantly, sustaining life and history for centuries to come. Gap 3S, the Colorado River, a lifeline of the American West, has carved its place in history for centuries. From ancient Native American civilizations who revered its waters, to the pioneering explorers who braved its rapids, the river has been a source of life, 
inspiration, and discovery. Gap 2S. The river's journey spans over 1,450 miles, weaving through seven states and two countries. It has sculpted iconic landscapes like the Grand Canyon, a testament to its immense power and beauty. This majestic river has nurtured diverse ecosystems, providing a sanctuary for countless species of flora and fauna. Gap 2S. Historically, the Colorado River was a crucial resource for indigenous tribes such as the Navajo, Hopi, and Havasupai. They relied on its waters for agriculture, sustenance, and cultural practices. The river's significance is etched in their traditions and stories passed down through generations. Gap 2S. The 20th century brought monumental changes to the river. The construction of massive dams like Hoover and Glen Canyon transformed its flow, taming its wild nature but also sparking debates about environmental impacts. These engineering marvels provided water and hydroelectric power to millions, fueling the growth of cities and agriculture in the arid west. Gap 2S. Today the Colorado River continues to be a vital artery for over 40 million people. It supports agriculture, supplies drinking water, and sustains recreational activities that draw millions of visitors each year. Yet, its future is precarious, threatened by overuse, climate change, and invasive species like the zebra mussel. Gap 2S. As we reflect on the historical impact of the Colorado River, we must recognize our responsibility to protect and preserve it. The lessons of the past guide us towards a sustainable future where the river can continue to thrive and inspire for generations to come. Our collective efforts today will shape the legacy we leave for tomorrow. Gap 3. S. Let the story of the Colorado River remind us of the power and fragility of nature and our role as custodians of this precious resource. Together we can ensure that its waters flow freely and vibrantly, sustaining life and history for centuries to come. Gap 3. S. Looking ahead, the future of the Colorado River depends on our commitment to conservation and sustainable practices. Innovative solutions like water recycling, efficient irrigation techniques, and habitat restoration projects are paving the way for a healthier river system. Gap 2S. Collaborative efforts among states, countries, and communities are crucial. Policies aimed at reducing water consumption and tackling climate change impacts are being implemented with a focus on preserving this invaluable resource for future generations. Gap 2 S. Public awareness campaigns and educational programs are empowering individuals to make a difference. By understanding the challenges and embracing a conservation mindset, we can collectively contribute to the river's resilience. Gap 2 S. The fight against invasive species like the zebra mussel is intensifying. Research and monitoring programs are being established to curb their spread and mitigate their impact on the ecosystem. Gap 2S. The Colorado River, with its rich history and immense significance, deserves our unwavering dedication. As stewards of this natural wonder, it is our duty to ensure its waters continue to flow, supporting life and inspiring awe. Gap 2S. Together, we can protect and rejuvenate the Colorado River, securing its legacy for generations to come. Let us take action today, so that tomorrow, this lifeline of the American West remains vibrant and thriving.